So I am attempting to make kids snacks today, DIY versions of popular snacks that we are all familiar with like Teddy Grahams, Cheetos, Uncrustables, Lunchables, things like that. I'm gonna share with you guys what I thought of the final recipes, plus show you the recipes so you can try them out for yourself and tell me what you think. So let's just jump right in. So let's start out with the DIY Teddy Grahams, which I will start by saying first and foremost that they don't look exactly or taste exactly like Teddy Grahams, but they're close. And so I'm preheating the oven to 350 degrees. So the wet ingredients include honey, vanilla extract, and some melted butter. I didn't have any vanilla extract, so I just used some v vanilla bean, but I will put the recipe including the extract below. I'm adding some butter and then I'm gonna just whisk that up real good. And then I'm gonna move into the dry ingredients. Now for the dry ingredients, you're gonna want um, a half a cup of all-purpose flour, three quarters of a cup of whole wheat flour, some brown sugar, a little bit of baking powder and baking soda, and a dash of salt. I also added a half teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice, and then I'm gonna mix that all together nice and good, and then I'm gonna slowly add the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients until it creates a dough. So you're gonna flour a clean surface, such as a cutting board, and I'm just gonna go ahead and roll out the dough. So unfortunately, the smallest bear I could find was this cutout, so it's basically just a cookie. Obviously, the Teddy Graham manufacturers have a special cutout that they use, and so it's kind of hard to replicate it exactly. But we can get pretty close, so I'm cutting out um, a few of the bears, and then you can save the rest of the dough by either freezing it, or you can roll it again and create even more bears. And I'm just gonna put that on a medium baking sheet. And depending on how hot your oven is, you're gonna wanna cook between 15 to 20 minutes until they get brown. So um, yeah, they were very good. They definitely had a honey flavor to them. They weren't as sweet or as rich as Teddy Graham's. They were a little bit more light and flaky and crackery, but I liked them and my son loved them, so. That was a good attempt for Teddy Grahams. That's the closest I think I'll ever get, but that's the first recipe that I tried out. Next, we're gonna move into the second recipe, which is DIY Cheetos. When I was researching how to make Cheetos, I realized it was rather complicated, so I'm making a simple version. It's a half a cup of all-purpose flour, one and a half cups of rice flour, a half teaspoon of salt, four tablespoons of butter, cut into about one tablespoon size pieces and a half a cup of water. So that is going to be the dough that we create. And then I'm gonna go ahead and roll that out and create little, as close as I can get, Cheeto shapes. As I create them, I'm adding them to a baking sheet and I'm going to cook them on 350 degrees for about 15 minutes or until golden brown. I actually took them out a little early the first time. So you want them to be golden brown but not obviously burnt and then you can turn them while they're cooking so that they evenly cook. So I'm taking those out and then you're gonna add the cheese powder. Now you wanna get the cheese powder from those macaroni and cheese boxes that you get at the store and you're just gonna put the cheese all over. So these are more like, I would say they're like macaroni and cheese Cheetos. Um, this is probably my least favorite recipe out of all of them to be completely honest. And the other recipes were just so extensive that I realized that Cheetos are actually probably have a lot of <laughs> junk in them. They're really hard to make. So um, so yeah, those are what the Cheetos turned out to be. The next one I'm trying was the DIY Uncrustables. So I mean, everybody knows how to make a PB&J, so there's nothing to learn new here. 
But um, I'm using almond butter because my son prefers almond butter over peanut butter. I don't know why, but I'm just making a traditional peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but with almond butter. And I have this cutout I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. And these Uncrustables, my mom gives them to my son when he's over at her house. And I'm always like, mom, you should just make them yourself. So I, I don't like to waste this, so I eat the crust, but my son doesn't like the crust. So you can create these and then you can freeze them. So you can make them ahead of time, freeze them, and then when you want to give your child a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or you want it yourself, you can just pull it out of the freezer, let it defrost, and eat it. And it's a lot less expensive than the Uncrustables. And um, yeah, you know what's in it. And you can make your own customized version, whether you like almond butter or peanut butter. So he loves those, and I freeze them ahead of time and make them. These are the best, and I made something kind of similar in my last DIY video, but this one's even easier. So I'm cutting up strawberries. You wanna cut them into pretty thin slices, so I'm cutting off the green part, cutting them into slices, putting them on a baking sheet, and then I'm going to cook them for about eight to 10 hours on low heat. So the lowest you can get your oven to go, and you wanna cook them until they completely dehydrate. And let me just say, these are so yummy. Adults and children will love these. And they mimic the fruit leathers that you can get at the grocery store, but you don't add anything else. So I love them. As you can see, they just peel right off when they're done. And they're so good. We ate those in like 3.5 seconds. So next time I think I'm gonna make a huge batch and um, you can keep them in a Ziploc bag to keep them fresh. And they will last for a few days. But trust me, I don't think they will actually last for a few days because they are so delicious and super easy. So I would definitely recommend trying those out. Next, I'm making some DIY Lunchables and we're mimicking the pizza DIY Lunchables, although we're kind of changing it up a little bit so it's a tad bit more healthy. I'm putting some marinara sauce in these little cups, some cheese, and um, then I'm also gonna have some flatbread. These are whole wheat flatbread so they can make like little pizzas. And depending on where they go to school, sometimes you can warm up the bread. Um, Oliver's not in school yet, but he loves this type of thing. So I thought I would remake the Lunchable and you can make it a little bit healthier. So if there's different options, like let's say you want to do a non-dairy cheese or something, you can totally customize it. And then you can add some applesauce. You can find these containers also at Bed Bath & Beyond or Target. And they're great little easy do-it-yourself Lunchables that you can make for your kids. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and you try out some of these recipes. If you like my channel, check out my last two videos and subscribe to this channel. I also have another channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.